Chef Pennington here. Today we have a new appetizer for you. Bacon pepperoni sticks with a buttermilk ranch dressing. Homemade, which makes it so much better than anything you can buy in the store. These are going to be super crispy. We're going to have the lovely flavor of bacon. We all love bacon. And we love pepperoni. We're putting them together. It works so great. So we're going to start off with three pepperonis. We're going to cut from the middle outwards, like making a little Pac-Man. We made three cuts in the bacon. And what we're going to do is we're just going to weave it inside. Could not be any easier. Which really makes this a great appetizer. We're always looking for easy stuff. Well, this is like super easy and it's incredibly great. I love using H-E-B products. So I went ahead and grabbed up some of their delicious pepperoni. What we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of twists. Going counter, we're going to go opposite direction from each of the ends. Just to give that twist and spiral effect. I've got a regular baking sheet right there. And I use some aluminum foil. Aluminum foil helps it cook quicker. That's a good thing. Don't use parchment paper for this. It's going to get it extra crispy. Here's the second way you can put on a roasting rack. The roasting rack does offer a quicker cooking time, so that's something to consider. Plus, it doesn't cook in its own fat, which fat is flavor, so it depends how you're feeling. So they're going to cook for about 12 minutes, and while they're doing that, we're going to make our ranch dressing. I'll say it again. If you guys have never had this before, it is amazing. First time I ever experienced it was in culinary school, and everyone in class just went crazy. We were just like, what in the world did we just make? Because it was so good, and it was like nothing we've ever had before. So... We're using the food processor. It's going to help everything just get really mixed together. We want to give the food processor a little heads up. That's why we're chopping our shallot and our garlic up. It's just going to integrate a lot better and won't have big chunks. We're using a lot of fresh herbs here. So we're starting off some tarragon. Tarragon has a little bit of that anise flavor, not licorice. Like people like to say, it's not the case when it comes to tarragon. Tarragon is just like very fresh. It's almost like adds a sweetness to it and obviously a floral note. Buttermilk, got to have buttermilk and a buttermilk ranch dressing. So we're going to get that in there. And guys, there's going to be a recipe card, link below. It's going to have all the measurements, all that stuff. So no problem there. Plus it's printable. So we're just going to get everything started there. That's just letting the shallot and the garlic start doing its thing. The more time we give it, the more integrated it's going to be. So while that's happening, we're going to start pulling off some thyme flowers. And it's super simple. It's just like the tarragon. You just pull your fingers down, they come off. Doesn't have to be perfect, just you want to get a good bit of them. And like I said, the recipe card, all that stuff will be measured out for you. So we're going to get them in there. And then we're going to start adding some other goodies. So we've got the thyme in there. Next is going to be some mustard. You can use any kind you like. This is Honey Dijon I'm using. I just like it. It has a little extra tang flavor for me. And we're going to use some sour cream. Good bit of sour cream. The sour cream is going to help thicken everything up and bring it into a nice, smooth, creamy texture. So we got that in there. And we're providing mayonnaise to the party. Mayonnaise is another. It's going to act very similar to the sour cream. The sour cream just adds a little more flavor. The mayonnaise is much more um, there for the consistency factor for us. It's going to help with the right viscosity. you know. And another thing about the ranch dressing... Once you've made it and you put it in the refrigerator and it gives a chance to set up, it thickens a little bit. So that's sugar. You might not think sugar is there, but sugar is probably one of the most important ingredients in this. And I know it sounds crazy, but once you make it, you'll see what I mean. A little bit of lemon. That's just good freshness. It's just going to brighten everything up. We've got herbs, which are awesome. Lemon. Those all like to get together. Just a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. More depth of flavor. We're always into that. Speaking of flavor, salt. Salt brings flavor to the table. So we got to get a little of that in there. And we're going to let those guys start getting happy together. All right, moving right on. A little taste of roux, see what we think. See where we're at. We always need to TSA, taste, season, and adjust. Because what you like versus what I like may be a little different. More herbs, we're going to use some oregano. If you guys have never used fresh oregano, it's nothing like the stuff you get dried. It's just, I mean, as you might guess, it's more floral. But the flavors, I would say dried oregano is almost stronger. I know that sounds crazy, but fresh oregano is amazing. If you haven't tried it, give it a go. And we're going to add some cilantro here. Actually, I take that back. That's parsley. My apologies. I guess you could use cilantro if you wanted, or you could use both. So that's a little bit of sugar. It needed a little bit more. Remember, we're doing the taste season adjust here. Need a little bit more mustard. This is giving us more flavor. And we're going to pull everything together here. And we got ourselves some ranch dressing, guys. It could not be any easier than that. 
So I suggest putting it into like a, a glass mason jar and let it hang out in the refrigerator overnight. It's going to let all the flavors get a lot stronger for you, and it's going to thicken up, which is totally cool. Let's check the bacon, see how we turned out here. Well, that definitely looks crispy to me. So we've got one other step before we're going to start eating, which is always our favorite part, is we're going to get some of that extra grease off. You know, when we plate it up and everything, we don't really want grease to be on the plate, and that's part of the process of bacon. Bacon is a lot of fat, so we just cooked it, got crisp. We let a lot of the, bait, the fat come out, which is on our cookie sheet, and just give it a few moments, and you'll reduce a lot of the fat and a lot of that grease. Plate up any way you guys like. I thought it was kind of cool just to kind of link and log them together. Just build them on top of each other. I did use a square plate. It doesn't matter if you use a square plate or not. Um, but, you know, plating is kind of fun. That's just a little bit of garnish right there. Just gives a little more color. And, guys, you just wouldn't believe how crispy they turned out. It's just like crunch, crunch, deliciousness. I'm in love. Come join us on social media. We'd love to have you. Go ahead and subscribe while you're here. You'll see in the lower right corner there's a button for it. There'll be a recipe, the buttermilk ranch, everything you guys can need. While you're here on our YouTube channel, over here on the left, we have a playlist for our other appetizers. If you guys want to check those out. And on the right, here's a link back to our homepage. And you guys have the best. Take care.